Oh boy, it's another mini-sode. Welcome to Nobody's Watching Wrestling! We are here with our special guest, the king of the no-ring deathmatch, hipster heartthrob Casanova Valentine. The Bushwick Antichrist! The scum lord of the underground! The Charlemagne Handsome! The Gilgamesh King Gush! The king of the no-ring! The hipster heartthrob! Casanova Valentine is here, and nobody's watching wrestling. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> he didn't warn us he was going to do that. You chose a match for us to watch this week. Tell us about what you picked and why. So, uh, I wanted to just pick dumb shit that I liked. So, Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, the first match we're going to do is IWA 2005 Samoa Joe vs. Necro Butcher, which might be... Even though it's not a death match, is considered by a lot of people the most brutal match, probably in wrestling, independent wrestling history. So. It was so good. Oh, yeah. uh, first of all, I need more information on Necro Butcher and if he's a Nazi and if I can <laughs> appropriately wear a Choose Death shirt because I yeah. need it. Yeah. So uh, Necro Butcher is a hillbilly from West Virginia. Cool. Uh, he's actually like the night I met uh, Necro Butcher before. He's I actually, assumed he had died from some kind of brain injury. <laughs> uh, well, he's definitely, uh, he looks like he's a thousand years old. He looks ancient. Um, but Necro Butcher is from West Virginia. He, uh, he's like a deathmatch wrestler. Um, but yeah, super du- good dude. He's got a big pot leaf tattoo on his arm. Yes, I did notice that. Uh, but yeah, Necro's a super nice guy. He also has a genius IQ. Did you know that? Yeah. Is that real, that's though? Real. Is that no, like a Lars Anderson thing? No, that's thing? a real thing. He has a genius IQ and... Not only that, what's funny is if you watch the match, the Judge Vicious, and like he does the most hardcore, probably the most violent deathmatch wrestler ever, or took the most abuse. But now he's a groundskeeper for a minor league baseball team. No, yeah, I am shocked that he is still alive. <laughs> yeah, I was. I would have put money on him being dead. <laughs> like I'm shocked that he made it through this particular match. Yeah. Like. Thank you for being here, and fuck you for making me watch that. Yeah. It was. <laughs> Just disgusting. I felt like watching these matches that Casanova picked out was revenge for all the times you. I have to sit through you and Verica talking about porn, where I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like blood. Yeah, yeah cool. Like revenge porn. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I have never sat you down and forced you to watch porn. No, that's true. Um, I this was bloody enough that I legit wondered whether they would send someone in with a like mop. Like it yeah. seemed like the kind of thing that would require. I mean, maybe a full-on Zamboni. Like, we needed <laughs> someone to clean it up. I, someone was going to slip. I was, like, shocked because, like, for a lot of the match, and the ref is Bryce Remsburg, who's, like, a legendary ref, who, yeah. like, is, like, a weird, very overexcitable cartoon character. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, he's just not even in the crowd with them for a lot of the match, he checking just, on them. Well, this is what happens. Before the match was booked, Samoa Joe didn't want to wrestle that Oh. So that's, like, a little known, <clears throat> a little known thing is... He just didn't want to rec- wrestle Necro Butcher. Necro Butcher is a really sloppy deathmatch guy. So they decided just to go all in on each other. And you could fucking tell Samoa Joe's just beating his ass. Oh, uh, very uncomfortable to watch, yes. <laughs> the exploder off the apron. Oh, the the, probably, the last one. Yeah. It's yeah. um, probably the most. I do deathmatch. And I was like, nope. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was my big question I wanted to ask you was like, in reality, how much danger are these two people in? Tons. Yeah, that's All what I thought. Them. All of the danger. <laughs> like, did you see the velocity at which the blood was escaping his skull? Yeah. I could see his pulse because of the spurts. Yeah. That's how I know that this wasn't, like, a good day on the job. Like, you're just never... If you have that much head injury, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Yeah. That was a bad one. Who wants to die for art? <laughs> Uh, me sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> me apparently. Yeah. I'm just it, yeah. My main takeaway from this was that I was surprised that no one died for art and or other reasons. Yeah. I think the reason why I love this match so much is is being a death match wrestler. <clears throat> you get the stigma that you can't wrestle or you can't work and you're just a garbage wrestler. But you have Samoa Joe. You know he hung in there with Samoa Joe, who's one of the best indie wrestlers ever in a back and forth fist fight and it wasn't a death match it was brutal and there's blood but they weren't using gimmicks right they were using barbed wire or glass 
So <clears throat> it's pretty amazing that Necro Butcher can hang in there. Necro Butcher also had a really good match with Loki once, and he could hang. And he can hang with anybody. So it was it's a notch for deathmatch wrestlers. Like, oh, our trash god could fucking hang. And also, he's tough as fuck, and he's not a bitch like you think he is. Right. So he could hang with Samoa. And plus, it's just like, you talk about chain wrestling and how some people look like they're going through the motions. Nothing about that match looks fake. No. Nothing. No. And, like, that's what wrestling should be. Like, you watch that match, and you believe every fucking second yeah. of it. Um, nothing looks, <laughs> nothing looks rehearsed in Samoa Joe Necro Butcher. You know what I mean? So they just went at it, beat the shit out of each other, and that's why I love it. It's, it's like blood sport. It was a fist fight. Yeah, those headbutts in the beginning, like I, I mean, that's what got Necro Butcher starting to Yo, bleed. Yeah. But like, I, I just couldn't even believe that shit. Yeah, it was just really. Well, the finish is also my favorite finish of all time. Because Necro Butcher's like. Like he's like that old gunslinger who won't die. You right. Know what I mean, like Necro, like Samoa Joe is slapping the chef, need him, need him. And pro wrestling doesn't have finishes like that anymore. Usually, it's a couple falsies, a big thing, blah. But this was just like I just knocked you out. Right. And it was like kind of refreshing to watch. Yeah. Of, you don't see just a straight up ten count. Like yeah, he's like, down. He cannot so, get up. And that's why I think people still talk about this match. Is it was just so different from anything. Like Japan does hard style and you know strong style and all that stuff, but. This was like back Texas outside of a bar fist fight, yeah. you know? So uh, it's just a little different, you know? It's nice to see a, a fist fight, you know? Mm. And such a relief when it was over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially for Necro Butcher. I think he was pretty happy to get the yeah, fuck out Yeah, that, that 10 came, and I think we were all just so... Whew, that was like, oh, we all went through something together. I, we, I've never wanted to count 10 so much in my whole fucking life. <laughs> Um, thank you for choosing this, but again... Um, yeah, I'm sorry to do that to you guys. But, nope, uh, I loved it. It's fine. It's it, funny is when he asked me to pick matches, I was like, oh, I'll do Adrian Street. I'll do, you know, some interesting, you know, interesting characters. I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to make him watch <laughs> Necro Butcher. Uh, I want to see people come close to death. Yeah. It was a learning experience. I mean, it will shock everyone to learn that I'd never watched a death match before. And I guess I just thought, like you said, I thought it would be Baker. Yeah. Um... The, it, the realness of it was um, re, it was eye-opening. Yeah, here, let me show you how real Deathmatch is. Oh, this is going to be upsetting. I just I'm did gonna... a uh, cage match okay. in West Virginia. You know, I, I got it. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. It's not healed up yet. <laughs> That's pretty gross. gross. Yeah. It's like black. Yeah, it's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was a vicious outcast wrestling four-way barbed cage match. <laughs> well, never going to complain about tucking again. <laughs> Casanova, tell everyone where they can find you on social media. I am on Instagram as MC Death Bear, which is my street art alias. Yeah, not everything matches. I can't be perfect. I'm very sorry. On Twitter, it's Casanova Val 666. Or you can harass me on my personal Facebook page. I'm not going to give you my name. But you can find me. Send me weird dick pics. That happens a lot. It's getting weird. Really? Yeah. Oh, all the time. I, I can relate. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Do you have any upcoming shows or merch or website or anything else you want people to know about? Uh, I'm the king of the no ring death match. You know, I basically wrestle every single weekend. So if you follow me on social media, you can stumble into one of my drunk fist fights. So there you go. But yeah, Instagram, MC Death Bear, uh, Twitter, Casanova Val 666. And uh, you could just stalk me in Park Slope because a lot of people see me now and they go, hey, I see you on TV. And now they follow me. So That's cool. <laughs> Ooh, the best way to find somebody is to find them in real goddamn life. That's illegal. I'm Good old at, stalking. <laughs> I'm at Ariel Italic at all the places. Yep. Uh, I keep not coming up with outro lines. Bye. 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 <laughs>